My name's Kat Craig, I'm the legal director of uh, an international human rights charity, Reprieve, uh, and I'm in Cologne today uh, representing my client Faisal bin Ali Jabra in his case against the German government for their complicity with US drone strikes in Yemen. And what did you hope to achieve in the case today? Well, one of the real hallmarks of the drone war in Yemen is that it's shrouded in secrecy. So, uh, whilst of course we had hoped to win and to end German involvement with the US's drone war, in reality, I think we were hoping for the start of a conversation, for the lifting of a veil of secrecy that would engage the German judiciary and the German public in a way that they haven't been engaged before. And in that, I think we succeeded. Faisal and, and everyone at Reprieve believes that there's a genuinely important role that Germany has to play here. The reality is that German soil is being used to transfer information and signals to and from the drones. And we now know through a load of brilliant investigative journalism uh, that um, Ramstein is the high-tech heart of the drone war. Um, and so practically Germany has the capacity to stop drones, drones from flying, at least for the moment. The US and its allies have always hidden behind non-answers. In Germany, that's been no different. Um, the US keeps responding to questions by saying that drones aren't piloted from Ramstein, but that's never been the actual uh, qu request, the, the request for information in the first place, nor has it ever been the allegation. We know that Ramstein plays a crucial role, but that doesn't have to be done by having men with their finger or women with their finger on the trigger in Ramstein. Uh, so, like everywhere else, people and activists in Germany, I think, have uh, s struggled to get information about uh, Ramstein out in the public domain and have struggled to get the German government to commit themselves to any kind of information about what goes on in Ramstein. Today, for the first time ever, a formal public institution, the German Administrative Court here in Cologne, recognised that the allegations put by Faisal and his family members about the use of Ramstein and its intricate involvement in the drone war were plausible, and that, I think, is a huge step forward in this debate. Look, the claim is about trying to keep these men safe who fear for their lives, and um, that's the factual basis upon which the claim has been brought. Of course, Faisal is very concerned about his wider family and other people in Yemen. Since he's been talking about the issue, he's encountered so many families who've suffered huge losses because of the drone war. So um, certainly we hope that whatever happens, uh, whatever happened here today, whatever will happen with any of our work, uh, by any of the people who are working on this issue can be amplified and will ultimately lead to a situation where nobody has to uh, be terrorised by drones. What are the next steps then for you in representing Faisal and his family? Well, the, the good news, and as I understand it, the fairly unusual step taken by the court was to grant immediate permission to appeal, and that's wonderful. Um, we hope to be able to continue the conversation here in Germany we hope to reduce more evidence, that's always very useful. Uh, we hope to bring Faisal over, hopefully the situation in Yemen will calm down for many, many reasons. I hope that there will be some respite for Yemenis who are facing a terrible time uh, and you know, a small side effect of that would be, able to, would be to be able to bring Faisal here to Germany, that would be great uh, because he's such a wonderful advocate and such a brilliant person. And, a delight to work with, a real privilege to have as a client. So hopefully the next step is to challenge uh, the issues where we've lost uh, and to hammer home the issues where we've won and uh, continue to push on, on the factual importance of Ramstein. It will be an appeal to a, to a higher court uh, and there's a number of places we could go. We're hoping to leapfrog to the federal court. Uh, and I don't know the time frame, I have to ask the German lawyers. <laughs> uh huh. But something like this could take years, actually. I hope not. No, uh -huh. I, well, I think I, it may well take years before it comes to a conclusion, but I hope it won't take years before we get our next opportunity to, to talk about it. And do you have any feedback or sense that the German uh, is, government might be moved by the fact that this case took place to, to uh, be, be a little bit uh, stricter in their diplomatic dealings with the USA and things like that? I think there's a lot at play in Germany at the moment uh, and the conversation that is 
um, being had around drones is also being had around spying and the NSA scandal and Germany is being lent on pretty heavily and is quite nervous about not having US support in the context of uh, what they consider to be an increasing security threat from ISIS. Um, so I think that uh, we are slowly starting to raise the political cost of inaction um, and I think that the work of activists in the US and Germany has been incredibly important uh, to, to continue to do that as well. Um, so I think it's a step in the right direction. I feel at the moment that the German government are probably annoyed but not necessarily quaking in their boots quite yet. Okay, thank you. Anything else you'd like to say? Other than to say that um, Faisal uh, always speaks incredibly warmly uh, about uh, his interactions with Code Pink and um, that he was delighted to uh, hear that there were protests in the US and in Germany in support of his case. Um, I think he's an incredibly courageous man. Anybody who's met him will share that view and I don't actually think it's been a very easy journey for him. I think that going to America and speaking to people uh, was by some perceived in Yemen as a hugely courageous and, and sensible move and by others uh, not so much so and I think that he places himself at some risk by doing what he does and sticking his head above the parapet and I know that he feels incredibly grateful for all of the support that's offered so um, if he was speaking to you which is ideally what he would be um, then no doubt he would want to thank uh, all of the activists who have supported him and, um, and so I'll do that on his part. Thank you very much. Thank